I can't see, it's just the sun is in my eyes. The sun is in my eyes, everybody. Welcome back to another, what I hope is gonna be an amazing episode for you all to watch. West Bay Galveston, the upper Texas Gulf Coast, doing some deep water fishing, so to say. Uh, I've always been wanting to do this style and when Brad threw out the offer, which by the way, uh, see you out there. He's gonna be linked in my video description down below. That is Brad right there, let's uh... Good morning, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, the sun is right behind him so you can't really see him, but you're gonna see him throughout the video. Brad invited us out on his bay boat. Um, we're gonna hit a lot of these docks up in Off Ats Bayou. So uh, we've got the live bait and we're using, it's a mixture of shrimp and then some perfectly sized croaker. At least I, I think they're perfect. They look perfect to me. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen, y'all. We got the action hat set up. Filming from the Hero 9, and uh, it's a new mic set up, a new camera all the way around. I'm hoping that this isn't gonna, I'm not gonna regret it later on, but let's get uh, our first rod and line in the water. Christian and Brad have already landed two spectacular reds. Doing the live bait thing, as I said earlier. Let's get us a croaker on this line right here and we're gonna see what we can pull in. I guarantee this dude is not gonna get away y'all. He will not get away. I'm feeling this guy like just seriously. <laughs> It's like it comes in waves. Yeah. It's like it's dead for a couple minutes, and then oh, oh. as they cruise on through. Here we go. I don't know if I'll stop that fishing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't do that to me. Come on, he's around that pilot. Go. You feel the piling? I can feel it, yeah. He's rubbing around it. Pulling the boat over there. Yeah, I, I see this. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, two in a row. Brad just got had, y'all. Uh oh. There it is. Oh, there we go. There we are. We're on. Mark's going to get even for me, guys. Right, he's out too, isn't he? He's, yeah, he's not a big one though. It doesn't feel like a big one. Good job, Mark. Good job, Mark. Nice red. Is that a red or is that a... That's a red. All right. We're sitting on him, man. Dude, that is a nice one. That's a, that's a mid, like the a mid slot, I would say. Mid to lower. I bet that fish is 25 inches. 24? Yeah, he's a nice one. <clears throat> Great, you let me get broke off by two and then you just smoke one down real quick. Make it look easy. Ah, come on, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> look at that, son. <laughs> that is a, a beautiful 24, somewhere around there. That is a gorgeous redfish. I've been missing these guys. He was not gonna get off. He is really, really in there. Let's get that circle hook out. All right. Thank you. Whew. All right, y'all, we are steady on the bite. They are just munching these live croaker. Really quick, the setup that we're currently using, I've got an old 18 outfitter Arius medium power rod with a moderate fast action tip. 
That's a 3000 series spinning reel with 10 pound power pro just so that we have 200 plus yards. It's something that I normally use at the jetties. So you need that line, the uh, capacity. And then we've got a uni to uni connecting knot, as I told you all earlier on some 30 pound braid and a four aught circle hook. Just letting them take it kind of got like free spooled as the uh, baits in the water. And then once you feel it get tight, just let it go a little bit so that they do get it inside their mouth and then close the bail, slowly apply tension. In this case, he basically set the hook on himself and I've got the, the drag like really cinched down. Let's pull it. Yeah, that's, that's cinched down right there. So uh, let's see if we can snag us another one. dude to get whacked there he goes there he goes got one on him yeah i think well he took it oh i got him you got him yeah you think it's very it? small maybe a hard head because he's coming straight at me oh a speck oh we got the boat slam that's what we were after Nice job, Mark. Perfect, right in the corner of the mouth. We don't have a bleeder. We're we gonna need you to just chill out. Oh my, great. You got my glasses all dirty. Chick, chill. That's camera mode. Chill. I got the camera going. Okay, thanks, son. Look, look at my sunglasses. All right, she had an attitude and uh, yeah, well, that's what happens. Huh? Pulling out the big guns. Yeah. There goes Brad already under the dock. Christian under there as well. What are you using, son? Croker. Brad is using shrimp on a jig head. I think I might have lost some more shrimp. That's what's been happening all day long. Losing shrimp left and right. We are dealing with some true professionals with the precision of a surgical doctor holding a scalpel. Scalpel or what is it? Yeah, it's a scalpel, right? I don't know. No, it's not. Uh, it's a whatever y'all know what i'm saying hopefully you do let's put the big camera away because the rain cloud has come in and it's dropping some little bitty drops but it's not going to stop us though we're going to continue and uh, hopefully one of us snags a nice fish <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. Got you. Oh my gosh, Brad called it. That was awesome. Oh, I'm so glad I'm oh. Dang, that looks like a That is a solid cheesy. one. Okay, let me get your big one. It's put away, son. Oh, it's okay. All right, I'll, I'll just record with my hat. Oh, yes. That is a. That's a fatty. Yeah, he, he's a fatty. Mm. Right there. Oh, man. Bro, how do you grab them? Like, I saw you grabbing them. Oh, from the top? Yeah, how, how do you do it? Because they've got... Oh, my God. He got me. Did he cut you? He got me. No, he got my, my glasses. I'm just, I'm going to watch. Like, I usually this? grab them right here. Okay. But be wicked careful because that osculum. I know. Lay you open. That's uh, super sharp. He ate a jig head too. This guy, man. Holy crap. That's that is a, a monster sheep's, sheep's head. Yeah. I honestly think that's the biggest sheep's head I've ever seen. We got some big ones here, but that like the ones that we normally catch. Or not that big. Yeah, no. Not at all. Day of the dark monsters. Yes, Can you do me a favor and just get me a picture. quick picture right here? Very cool. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, everybody. Let it go. That went a lot better than what I thought it was going to go because I have no experience fishing docks here back home. I knew it's something that I wanted to do, especially whenever Christian gets his kayak 
we will be able to go out there and do that. And just like catching the fish that we did, that lets me know that it's gonna be doable. So be expecting a lot more dock fishing with live bait. We've always seen the Florida boys do it and uh, it just got me to thinking like, why am I not trying to do the same? I already know Sheep's Head love to hang out next to those pylons eating crabs and then like the barnacles and stuff like that. So if anything, we can probably catch those guys, but seeing the quality sized reds I'm hooked and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.